right, it is time to create with Quimby as we look forward to sunny days, gatherings of loved ones. How about a fun DIY project to add a little burst of color to your get together? I would say this is a, a quintessential spring palette mm -hmm. here. And this may look super fancy and complex, but it's actually pretty simple. It doesn't require any sewing, so okay. this is good news. I can handle this. This is good news. Joining us live to walk us through these tablecloth slip covers, our DIY guru, the legend herself, <laughs> Shannon Quimby. Good morning. Well, that's a nice intro. Thank you so much. <laughs> You've earned it. You've earned it. All right, so take us through exactly what these slipcovers are, are all about and what do you need? Yeah, well, exactly. It's a slip cover without sewing. I don't know about you guys, but I don't know how to sew. Nope. So, yeah. I've, I've donned a hole in some pants before, and, and that is, I maxed out at that. That's I'll, all I'll, I can do. I'll play with the thimble in Monopoly. There you go. Yeah, right. Well, good. <laughs> So we're all in the same boat here, okay? <laughs> so you just take a chair and it could be any chair. And that's the great thing about this project is by, you know, all you need is like a tablecloth or maybe a sheet. You can even do a throw or a blanket. It doesn't matter. Um, and so the first thing you want to do is you choose what you want. If you notice that one picture I showed, I did a whole bunch of uh, vintage uh, floral tablecloths. I just love them. They're so fun. Yeah. And you just take the tablecloth and you put it over the chair. You guys, this is so easy. It is so easy. Okay, done. Now, this is the little, you know, add a little zazz to it. Turn the chair around. Okay. And you're going to see the back and you don't see that. Plus, right, this right. Just fall off. right now it just looks it's, like a sheet on a chair. Yeah. So you got to, yeah. you got to make it slip cover status. Exactly. So, the, but before you do that, you want to get like, a little vase, you can do a little jar, you can do a jelly jar. Um, I get these vases, you can get them at any, um, you know, dollar store or something like that. Mm -hmm. And you take a rubber band okay. and you take, you can take a ribbon or um, you can take a shoelace, anything you want. You put the uh, rubber band over the vase and you just like, you do a ponytail, just wrap it up like that, okay? Okay. Yeah. Still with you. So I put the ribbon, I put the ribbon in the um, rubber band to hold it there. Okay. Easy. Okay. Then the next thing you want to do is you get a clothespin. Okay. If you don't have these, you can also, they can easily get them at, you know, any, I feel like I'm also sponsoring the dollar store. I'm not, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> places that are really easy and, um, you know, something that might cost a lot of money. Okay. Okay. So you just so kind of nestled it into that rubber band there. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. So then you take this and you just gather because you want to hide the back down here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And you just gather it up like so. And then all you do, you guys, it's so easy. You just take that clothespin that oh, you no attach way. to the base and you clip it to the back. My angle's a little funny. Yeah, yeah, you can turn, hard, turn it away from the camera for a second. It's hard to do it when it's not facing. Yeah, no, yeah. but I love this because when I first saw your picture, Shannon, I wondered, I was like, well, surely she has like hot glue gun something here yeah. or or put some little holes or staples into something. But but the, the tablecloth, you could like reuse Voila. it. You're not putting anything, sticking anything to it. Just a little nope, bit. No, not at all. And then you take that leftover ribbon. Uh-huh. And ooh, this is a little hard on this angle, you guys. Yeah, no, go ahead. You're so good. Turn it you around can, if you need to. Yeah, for now. turn it that around, no get problem. it all set, and like give us the voila, you know? There you go. Yeah. I love that. Hey, um, and now while you're while you're assembling the final touches here, tell us about you're gonna be at a, a local home and garden show coming up, right? Oh yeah, I know. So Inroads Credit Union has invited me to the uh, Columbia County Home and Garden Show. And all day Saturday, see, it's so much simpler when it's in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, on Saturday, and I'm doing DIY projects um, a big chunk of Saturday. And the great thing, too, is that some of the projects that I did with PAR, we're giving them away. Oh, nice. So, you know, I know it's a, gr it's a great show, you guys. It's, you know, local businesses. It's supporting, you know, the community. And it's just a lot of fun. Plus, we're DIYing like this. On Saturday with me. I That'll love that. Fun. And then you just add a little flower to the vase. Yeah, little, just a little pizzazz. Finishing touch little there. Spring touch, yep. So cute. Uh, that that's like your outdoor garden party. People are gonna be like, what yeah, what, what event company did you, you hire to do this? Yes. yes. Yeah. 
so yeah, good. And, and the great thing too is you guys, like this really didn't cost me anything. This was zero. The chair wasn't damaged. We didn't have to sew a thing. And we can take it and change it however you want. Oh, oh fantastic. Wonderful. That's awesome stuff. Well, Shannon, great to see you as always. Love how simple this one is. They always are simple, but this one is you look at the picture and you're like, how is this simple? Right. And this is how. There you go. Genius. Yeah. Fun right. project for the warmer weather. Thanks, Shannon. Have a good one. You're welcome. All right, and for a full list of instructions and materials that you will need for this, we're going to post that online at coin.com. And again, check out Shannon at the 2022 Columbia County Home and Garden Show this weekend. That is Saturday and Sunday at the county fairgrounds up in Columbia County. Of course, that's in St. Helens. She's putting on two DIY presentations on Saturday at 11 o'clock in the morning and another one at 1 in the afternoon. Very fun. All right.